This is a, another mobility equipment install that we've done here at AMS Vans in Tucker, Georgia. We have this 2006 older model AMS conversion. Uh, it's Chrysler Town and Country. We have a B&D driver transfer seat, the Weigel push twist classic two hand controls, and a removable pedal guard for the client. We're going to open the van and the ramp, show you how everything operates. And bring the ramp out. We're going to pull into the van and kind of give me an idea what's going on here. So the customer client will actually pull up into the vehicle with a scooter or power chair. Um, they will stop about right here. Uh, you can do two options. With a power chair, you can actually lock down with an Easy Lock or QLK 150. Or with a scooter, you can back in with a scooter station, which is uh, basically a device where it clamps on the tires to secure it safely in the van. On this uh, particular application, the, the gentleman's going to pull in. He's going to grab these restraints, put a restraint onto the frame of the scooter over here, put another one over here. That way it locks it in place. Um, after he does that, he's going to transfer over into the driver transfer seat, like so. And then he can actually maneuver this into the driver position. He'll bring his legs over, bring them up, and then go, go forward. Uh, the next step, we're going to show you the hand controls and the removable pedal block as well. So on the driver's seat, when you're pulling forward into the driver position, the B&D transfer seat has to be all the way forward, has to be all the way down, and it has to be all the way to the left. If it's not, it will ring a buzzer sound and the vehicle will not go into gear. The reasoning of this is when these things are crash tested, it, they're more secure and stable in that position and that's where it's supposed to be at before you can actually put the vehicle into gear. I'm going to demonstrate that. I'm going to bring it back just a little bit and bring it up. You start the car, you hear a little buzzing sound. You can't move the seat and you can't put it into gear. All right, so what you usually got to do, is turn the key off, bring the seat down, bring it all the way forward, and then you can try it again. That way you know you're good to go. Now you can actually put your car into gear. In case of an emergency and you have to move the seat to get out, you have a bypass button here. You push that. The vehicle is running right now. That, what that does is apply power to your seat and you can actually turn it and operate it, move it to get out of the seat safely. Uh, it doesn't see ignition, doesn't see the gear shifting wire, whatnot. You can still apply power to it directly. Uh, so that is a safety feature in the B&D transfer seat. Also what happens a lot of the times too is people will have their key off, they'll hear that beep sound, the seat will actually move and turn and you're in the right position so when the customer actually puts their key in the car, turns on the ignition, they still hear the buzzing sound thinking that there's something wrong when all actuality is the button's in the wrong position, it has to be up in the up position. These are the uh, Weigel slash MPD Classic 2 hand controls. They're the push twist. Uh, one of my favorite in the hand control family. Um, one of the easiest ones to actually use, in my opinion. Um, you actually have uh, your gas is here. So it has a twist motion for your gas, and that will be your brake. Um, what's nice about these as well is if you have an armrest here, you can rest your arm. And as you're driving on long trips, you can actually keep it elevated as you're driving. Um, your cruise control still does work. Um, if you're at a stoplight, it's a very, very long stoplight and you have a lot of fatigue in your arm, you actually push this forward, push the button down, and that will lock it in place so you can kind of take the pressure off your arm holding the brake. When you're ready to go, just push forward, it releases the brake, and then you can continue on with your trip. Um, another feature that's really nice about this as well is if you're on a long trip, you can pop this up, you can bring your gas, which I'm going to turn the vehicle off for this. Um, as you bring your gas down, it keeps your wrist parallel, gives you less fatigue in your hand driving on long trips. So you have this position, basically to keep your arm parallel. You have this position, which is your normal position, so you have more of a twist in your wrist. Or you have the downward position for people, you know, even more apathy, you can have more twist and keep it horizontal as well. And that is the Weigel MPD Classic 2 Push Twist Hand Control. 
All right, so this is the Beigel MPD pedal guard. Um, it's removable. Um, the reason why they had this here is the person that's driving with the hand controls, if they have spasms, stuff like that, you don't have to worry about their leg accidentally hitting the gas or brake. Um, when an able-bodied driver is ready to drive, you just take this, it has a little slot, take that out. An able-bodied driver can uh, go ahead and use the pedals as, as normal. And then when the person that's using hand controls, just take it, slide it back in there, and they're ready to go.